There's no gimmicks. There's no clickbait. I don't think you should be a successful event decorator. And for those people who tell you, they're misleading you into a different type of business that you won't be successful with. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. Before we start, why you shouldn't become a successful event decorator, I have a free workshop for you that dives into how to get back-to-back -back clients. If that's something that you struggle where you're getting clients who actually want to pay your prices, this training and workshop is definitely a good fit for you. I will link it down below, so feel free to join and you can find out more information on how me and you can work together in the near future. Here's why you shouldn't be an event decorator. And here's a big disclaimer. All advice that's given throughout this video along with this channel is my own opinion. If you feel like I'm telling you the wrong thing, feel free to have a conversation down below because I would love to hear it. But I'm tired of people telling you that you should be an event decorator. Who makes more money, a family doctor or a cardiologist? Now you might be wondering what the heck does this have to do with event business? Well, it does. Because those people who are telling you to become an event decorator are doing a disservice to you because let's be real. People who are generalists, which is an event decorator, versus people who actually choose one thing and stick to it. That's the difference. It will be hard to scale if you do everything. So for people who are telling you to do entire events, or if it's just you in general, this is a big misconception on how to actually to become successful in the business world. Big corporations like Starbucks, Nike, Walmart, Tesla. These big corporations have figured it out. Does Starbucks sell toys? Does Tesla sell clothing? They do, but... Let's be real, what are they known for? Does McDonald's sell tacos? Does Nike sell dresses? This is why people who specialize in one thing tend to scale a lot faster than people who just do it all. And for people who are telling you to become event decorators, are doing a disservice because you can't do it all. Big corporations have demonstrated that if we focus on one thing and upsell when people come into our business, it's the fastest way to scale. Don't listen to the event designers who are doing it all because I guarantee you they have a team. Here's the biggest misconception. If you don't have a team, guess what you can't do? You can't do entire events. We going deep, y'all. I'm going, I'm fired up. <laughs> I'm fired up. Stop listening to people who say how to become a successful de event decorator because becoming a successful decorator depends on a team and doing entire events depend on other people. If you don't have that, which most of you don't, don't become it. Let that be a long-term goal. You can always become an event decorator in the future and that future might happen six months from now, two months from now. Who knows? You might be that go-to person. But don't feel that you have to do everything in order to be successful because it's the total opposite. These two decorators right here were doing it all at first. One was able to get five clients in one day and the other one was to get booked out for months on end and is not able to take any clients within 30 days. So who do you want to become? Now, your clients might know you as event decorator, but what do you specialize in? Because what you specialize in is the solution to their problems. The whole point of running a business versus having an actual hobby is solving a problem. If people want draping at a wedding, they're looking for people who drapes. If if you continue to do everything in your business, you won't be able to master the skill that you're probably good at because you're doing everything else. Another big misconception when it comes to becoming a successful event decorator is that you can do it all. When you do it all, you water down your own actual skill that you're really good at. If you're really good at balloons, have a balloon business. If you're really good at draping, have a draping business. That is the easiest way to know you are the go-to for XYZ design. Do not become an event decorator and have that label for you when you can't do it without a team. Sometimes, if you've never decorated an entire event outside of a home, venues give you only a certain amount of time to actually decorate. Sometimes you only get maybe two to three hours before the event. I've been in a situation where I only got one hour. How am I supposed to do an entire event within one hour if I don't have a team? And don't think your team is family either. You can't depend on people unless you're hiring and paying for them because those people don't see the value in your business because 
it's really depending on whether or not it's worth their time a lot of my designers tend to use like their partners when they within their marriages you know or their kids they come in this is why even doing one design can be difficult because you still need help but at the end of the day when you become a successful event decorator it's because you have a team to back you up you have a team to execute your idea you have a team to take on one event while you do another that's how you become a successful event decorator and this is why i will never tell you to do it all this is why i will never sit here and tell you become an event decorator instead what i want you to do is become specialized in the event industry so that way you're the go-to once you become the go-to you make more money anyone who specializes in anything can make more money you can now specialize in a specific area or creative course that might help master and develop your natural talent so again if you're a balloon stylist take a balloon course don't take something that's going to teach you how to decorate an entire event when you don't have a team this is why i'm so against it this is why I tell my designers, my coaching program is the foundation of where business are because a lot of those creative courses that people take don't talk about the business. And if they do, it's very, very surface based. When I started my business, there was no business videos on YouTube. And I have a few of my designers who said the same thing until I started talking about it. Now there's a bunch of people who are talking about their business because it's it was so taboo to share and, and we all know this in the event industry nobody shared anything well guess what i have an abundant mindset and i want you to win so i'm going to share and i'm going to share the things that i was trying to search for because no one was talking about it which is why i created my program my program talks about how to master the mindset of charging your worth how to break down your price how to make sure you market to the right people so that way your position in front of your dream clients my program teaches you how to actually scale and build a profitable business remember profits mean more money in your pocket i'm not teaching you how to develop your creative skill i could have done that i could have done a balloon course but that's not where my passion is my passion is to teach people the fundamentals about business something that comes so naturally for me to learn that i want to share it with you so that's what my program does and then I always tell my designers at the end of the program, once you start getting clients in the door, now you turn your investment into the creative courses that are out there. And there's so many. And just know, no matter who you invest your money in, hopefully you research, do your due diligence, make sure you research that they have the credibility to teach you the things that they're teaching. Don't be scared of the number of the course that they offer. Because the cheaper a course is, probably the lower quality it is, right? You won't get everything that you need. Don't be scared to invest back into your business. One, it's a tax credit, especially if you're in the United States. Two, you get better and you can charge more. I always tell people, if you invest in my program, this is value. You're learning how to run a business. You're learning how to get back-to-back -back clients. Then tap into your creative skill and continue to learn. This does not stop. This is just up from here. Don't let anybody tell you to become a, an event decorator because I think that's false. I get so passionate about people making and becoming successful, but I think it's a disservice to sit here and tell people to design an entire event when in actuality they have to specialize in something. Their businesses, those of people who are telling you to become event decorators, they specialize in something. That's how they were able to get clients. That's how they were able to solve and, and get back to back clients, get booked out, booking thousands and millions of dollars in their, their businesses because they were able to specialize in something that they're known for. And then as their business grew, their team grew and they were able to offer more. That's how business works. It does not start at the top. You have to start small and then scale. Now, depending on how fast you scale, that is totally up to you and the momentum that you create in your business. Don't. Google how to be an event decorator. Don't Google, you know, people who are telling you to become an event decorator. No, I'm telling you, you shouldn't. That's why I created this video. There's no clickbait. I don't think you should. And here, these are the reasons why. Because when you specialize in something, now you can charge whatever you want. You can charge thousands of dollars, pesos, euros, you know, all the currencies in the world. <laughs>
<laughs> you can do it. You can do all of that when you specialize in something. People like, oh, nobody's gonna pay for balloons. Yes, they do, right? The Kardashians right here, no shade on them. They wanted balloons for their events and they constantly go to this one event business that offers balloons. Celebrities want you, but you gotta deliver a high quality service. The more you put into your business, the more it comes out of it. And then it just so happens that luck, it's preparation meets opportunity and that's your luck. And that's when a person who is an event planner, who is planning out a celebrity client, finds your page. And then it's up from there. Now you become the A-list and go-to event designer in that specialty. And now you can bring on a team. You can bring on help. You can open up your venue that you've always wanted to. You can have more time spent with your family. You can build generational wealth. All because you prepared at ground zero. I am a person who wants to create positive change in your life. That's the reason why I created my channel. My job is to shed light on the things that are common misconceptions in your life. This is not how you build a business. To become a successful event decorator, you have to specialize in one thing. And then once you specialize one thing and you start bringing in more clients and it's too much, now hire someone else. Now you can start building on your team. Also know that once you build a team, the money gets eaten up so you want to make sure it's profitable at first where you're making money on the back end versus getting someone else to join you and then all of a sudden you're still not making money in your pocket the whole point of starting the business is to create that wealth that freedom that options where you're able to get paid what you're worth as an as a ceo of your business so in order to become a successful event decorator you have to specialize scratch the successful event decorator because once you specialize in one thing and you allow growth and you keep that momentum going your event business will eventually flourish now the one thing i want to say this is that don't worry about how you'll get there just know it will come into fruition when you worry about the how and when you'll get there it, it creates such scarcity mindset that it won't come because you're so worried and it's based off fear and sadness and very low frequency vibe instead surrender it and know that it will come and it's it's already there it's only a matter of time when you surrender and you allow that to happen and specialize in one thing and have your business be known for that i promise you you will get clients it's the one thing of the reason why that most people won't talk about how they got clients maybe they don't know they don't know that their mindset was a huge shift when it came to their business. But if they showed you where they were at zero, right? If they shared their story of where they were when it came to designing their for their clients, I guarantee you they would be saying the same thing. Everyone has to go through mindset shifts and everybody has to understand the business end before, you know, you're naturally creative. I can't teach you on that. And plus, I don't want to teach you on that. That's not what my channel's for. My channel is to teach you the business side that most people aren't talking about. If you got something out of this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to join me on my workshop where we talk about getting those back-to-back -back clients because the doors will be opening for my coaching program. And if you really want to learn the business side where most of those courses don't talk about, feel free to click the link, watch the workshop, and it will show you the steps on how to get there. So continue designing your dreams into reality. I love y'all so much. If something resonates or if you are against what I'm saying, feel free to leave me a comment. Let's start a conversation. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Stop letting these people tell you lies. Period. Shoot. <laughs> Time to get this money.